Dr. Moore here doing a platelet-rich plasma injection. This is a, a gentleman that has osteoarthritis of the knee. He's already had some treatment in the past. And what I'm doing is I'm prepping the knee. I'm, I'm choosing uh, to do it with the patient lying down. That way the patient's comfortable. And that way if they get lightheaded, they're not going to faint. So that's why it's actually uh, uh, a good reason to do it lying down. We call it supine position. The other reason to do it lying down is it allows me to use my ultrasound like this. I use this ultrasound probe and in this uh, position, I'm able to go into the joint um, uh, much more reliably than if I was doing the, the, the traditional sitting uh, technique. So this is what I do to get things going. I already prepped it with alcohol and betadine. I made a circle. I felt my landmarks. There's my patella. My, this is actually where I'll be injecting right over here. So. What I do is, um, I'll start with a 27 gauge needle uh, and use that to inject 1% lidocaine into the target. Un piquete chiquito, okay? Okay. Okay. Va a sentir un poquito de ardor. Es un medicamento, arde a veces, okay? And then we're getting a 22 gauge needle, please. So the, uh, I'm injecting my lidocaine right now into the uh, right below. There's my kneecap right below. And as I inject this, I'm just going through the skin and the subcutaneous tissue. I'm really not going into the joint. The goal is to not inject uh, lidocaine into the joint. Okay, un poquito de ardor, okay? Lo siento mucho, okay? Todo bien? Todo bien, okay. I can, I can feel the needle hitting the capsule. I can actually feel it. Todo bien, todavía? Si. Okay, gracias. Si. Okay, so the needle just went through the capsule. So what I do now is I just leave this right there help me with trajectory, okay? And then what I do is, what I do now is <clears throat> I, I, I prepare to do the PRP and I'm taking my, my time a little bit here to allow that lidocaine to work. This is platelet-rich plasma, double spun, so all the red blood cells are pretty much out. It's a, what's called leukocyte poor platelet-rich plasma. That means that it's mostly platelets. I did suspend them in in plasma. So what I do now is I observe the trajectory of that 27 gauge needle, remove it, keep my eye on the ball. Un piquete chiquito, okay? Todo bien? Yeah. Okay, muy bien. Now that felt like it's in the joint. Uh, I can tell by by feeling the resistance, okay? So what I do is um, I use my ultrasound to confirm. I'll just keep the video over here. I'm not going to show the ultrasound just for the sake of privacy because there is a name on there so we go like this i'm using my probe my ultrasound probe there it is okay, good i see my needle in the joint i'm going to uh, change the location just a, a wee bit here just to make sure that i'm 110 percent certain there it is i'm going to back it up a teeny bit yeah did you notice that no no did you notice that it's pretty close to the synovium so mm -hmm. so what i do now is i kind of go like this i change my there we go. Now I know that I'm not going to inject in the synovium and I just go like that. Siente algo? Poquito. Todo, poquito, pero, pero bien? Yeah. Okay, sometimes it actually hurts. Once the platelets go, go in, sometimes they act, they get activated and they release their granules. And then there's a surge, uh, a sense of, of heat is what a lot of patients will feel. But in this case, that has not happened, but it might. So that's pretty much it. That was platelet-rich plasma injection for the treatment of osteoarthritis, showing you my technique uh, using the, the probe to confirm placement of the needle and using a particular technique that reduces the amount of pain. 27 gauge needle, skin and subcutaneous, subcutaneous tissue. I don't inject it into the joint. I don't inject it in the joint because it may actually alter the function of the platelets. Dr. Mora here uh, showing you injection of a knee with platelets. Thank you.